Oh uh, yeah, you guys are definitely, definitely missing out, guys. So it is Victorian Christmas, so we're gonna take a trip back in time a little bit. I'm joined now by Trent and Ty, and he is going to kind of take us through some authentic Victorian ironwork. So Trent, tell me what you're doing here. So what we've got here, this is an 1840s forge wagon. This is how you took your blacksmith to war. Uh, but like I said, this wagon was used up to, to uh, about World War I. And what happens is it houses this guy right here, it's called a bellows, and it blows air into this portion right up here, which is a coal fire, and it makes steel very hot. Uh, this, All right, we're gonna zoom into that just yeah, a little bit This there. is about uh, 2200 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, when you touch it to pretty much anything, it catches fire. Yeah, I'm stepping back. You guys can see I'm stepping back when he does that. <laughs> so what we're gonna do real quick is I'm actually gonna show you how a blacksmith works steel. We're gonna make a point and a hook on the end of this bar. Okay. So let me bring it up to heat and then we're gonna run over to the anvil and uh, pound on some metal. All right. All right. All right, so what would this hook be back in the Victorian ages? Uh, if you notice, your old cast iron always has a bale, has a handle, and so you didn't have a uh, control a control knob on the fire to turn up the heat, right? Okay. But if you were cooking, you wanted more heat, you could lower the pot. So you put that hook between the bale and the pot, pot goes down, heat goes up. All right. All right. All right. Let's oh, scramble. Move out of the way. If you get on fire, it's, it's okay. All right. It's okay. <laughs> Here we go. So what we're going to do first is we are going to make a point on the end of this. Alright, while he's doing that, unfortunately we have to wrap up so you guys won't be able to see the end of it. So basically this is a cliffhanger for you guys, which means you guys should probably oh, come out here to Thomas Hill for Victorian Christmas. This is just a taste of what you can do. I'm done. <laughs> Alright, oh, there's the hook. Cool. Alright, back to you guys. Alright, thank you.